In this week's Fat V Thin, we're going to find out if it's better to be under or overweight if stranded on the North Pole in just your swimwear. The room they'll be sitting in is maintained at a constant zero degrees Celsius. Both subjects had a body temperature of 36.9 before entering the test area. The first subject's body temperature to drop by three degrees will be declared the loser. Their progress will be displayed on a digital readout. While the fat man has more insulation to protect him, he's less fit than the thin guy, who might be better able to regulate his body temperature. We'll return later in the show to see who's hot and who's not. Is it better to be fat or thin at the North Pole? To find out, this experiment has been performed under strictly controlled conditions, with the temperature constantly maintained at freezing point. Before the start of this experiment, our two subjects had body temperatures of 36.9. The first person to drop three degrees and fall below 34 will be declared the loser. After 25 minutes of chilling out, our six and a half stone thin guy is really starting to struggle, while our 22 stone fat guy has hardly felt a thing. Thin guy's puny body is frantically trying to raise its temperature by shivering. But it's too little, too late. So in this week's Fat V Thin, it's better to be porky than puny. <laughs>